All right, folks, strap in and sharpen those pencils, because we're diving into the gritty world of soccer tactics, specifically against the pressing 1-4-2-3-1 formation. This isn't your grand knitting circle. We're talking high octane, chess on steroids gameplay here. First up, we've got the classic dribble and destroy move. Picture this, their number nine is pressing like a madman, thinking he's got you corner. But here's where you flip the script. Your center back, cool as a cucumber, fakes a pass, then bam. A slick dribble right past mister. High and mighty nine. Suddenly, you're slicing through their midfield like a hot knife through butter, creating chaos and opening up avenues for a killer attack. It's about agility, guts, and a touch of swagger. Next, let's talk about the wingman overload. Their number seven or number 11 is feeling pretty smug out wide, right? Time to wipe that smirk off their face. You start shuffling players over to their side, creating a numbers game that's more lopsided than a heavy weight on a seesaw. This isn't just about brute force, it's psychological warfare. You're in their head, making them second guess every move. Once you've got them rattled, you exploit that weakness, pushing forward with a venomous attack down the flank. Lastly, we've got the midfield mismatch. Their number 10 is probably feeling like the king of the hill, but you're about to knock him off his throne. You create a 2v1 scenario, it's like bringing a friend to a fist fight. This is where tactical brains meet wrong. You're not just playing the ball, you're playing the man, exploiting gaps, and creating space where there was none. It's about vision, timing, and that killer instinct to seize the moment. So there you have it, a tactical masterclass that's as much about mental prowess as it is about physical skill. Remember, in the beautiful game, it's not just what you do, it's how you do it with style, smarts, and a touch of ruthlessness. Let's get out there and make those tactics count. Dive into the deep end of soccer tactics with this advanced build-up play strategy. It's not just about kicking the ball, it's about outsmarting the opposition with every touch. First, let's talk about causing chaos for those opposing strikers, numbers 9 and 10. Here's the trick. Slide a midfield dynamo, either number 6 or 8, right behind them. This isn't just a move, it's a statement. You've now crafted a 4v2 scenario, with your goalkeeper and two center backs joining forces. It's like playing chess on grass, and you're about to say checkmate. Next up, exploit the half spaces like they're gold mines. Position your number 6 or 8 in that critical area, nestled between the opposing striker, midfielder, and winger. This is where the magic happens. You're creating a tactical headache for the opposition. They need to decide, step out of position to press your player, or let them have the space. Either way, you're pulling their strings. Now, let's turn the script on goalkeeping. Your number one isn't just there to stop goals. They're your undercover playmaker. Push them up, get them involved in the passing game. This is about turning your goalkeeper into an 11th outfield player a move that can tilt the field in your favor. Yes, it's risky. Yes, it requires a goalie comfortable with the ball at their feet. But the best victories come from bold moves. This isn't just soccer. This is advanced tactical warfare, where every player is a piece in a carefully orchestrated plan. You're not just playing the game, you're rewriting the rules. Embrace these tactics and watch as your team transforms the pitch into a stage for tactical brilliance. Welcome to the Art of Soccer Warfare. Welcome to the Masterclass of Midfield Magic, where we turn the pitch into a chess board and you're the Grand Master. Let's dive into the build-up, play 1-4-2-3-1 midfield tactics that'll have your opponent's head spinning. First up, the all switcheroo. We're talking about rotating our midfield dynamos number 6, number 8, and number 10. Imagine a merry-go-round of soccer brilliance, where each player dances out of position, leaving defenders guessing. Should they stick or twist? Either way, they're in a pickle, and we're just getting started. Next, the classic bait and switch. We lure the opposition to one side of the field, snug and tight. Then, bam! We switch play faster than a cheetah on a sugar rush. The ball zips across the field, and we advance on the other side, leaving defenders in our dust. Lastly, unleash the secret weapon. Our number 10, the free-roaming maestro. This player becomes a ghost, drifting around, creating overloads wherever they fancy. Like a soccer ninja, they appear where least expected, 
turning the game into a nightmare for the other team. This isn't just tactics. It's art. It's warfare. It's the kind of smart play that turns good teams into legends. So, lace up, get out there, and let's show him what real soccer looks like. Alright, let's dive into the heart of the game, where the real magic happens. The midfield. Picture this. You're in a 7v6 grid lock, stretching from your penalty box to the halfway line. Your team's rocking a solid back line of four, with your midfield maestros number six, number eight, and number ten ready to weave their magic. But here's the kicker. The opposition is throwing a wrench in your plans with a high-pressure setup, two strikers, two wingers, and a pair of midfield hounds. It's like a chess match, but with cleats and a lot more sweat. First up, the up-back through combo. This isn't just passing. It's art. A center-back drops deep, gets the ball, and plays it up to number 10. They lay it off back to number 6, who's already scanning the field like a hawk. Then, bam! A razor-sharp pass splits the defense, sending your full back through on goal. It's a move that turns defense into attack in the blink of an eye, leaving the opposition's head spinning. Now, let's add some spice with our full backs, number 2 and number 5. These guys aren't just defenders, they're secret weapons. When one of them starts dribbling inside, it's like throwing a curveball that the opposition didn't see coming. They create an overload, giving your team a numerical advantage in the heart of the battlefield. It's a bold move, forcing the opposition to adapt or get outplayed. But here's where it gets really interesting, a flat midfield three. Number six, number eight, and number 10 line up across the pitch, forming a triangles with the center backs. This isn't just about possession, it's about domination. They control the game, dictating the tempo like conductors of an orchestra. It's a tactical masterclass, offering options for short passes, long balls, and everything in between. The opposition midfielders are left chasing shadows, running themselves rag, trying to keep up. This exercise isn't just a drill. It's a form of art. It's about outsmarting, outplaying, and outlasting the opposition. It's a battle of wits, skills, and guts. So, when you're out there, remember, this is where legends are made, in the gritty, glorious heart of the midfield. Keep your eyes sharp, your mind sharper, and your passes sharpest. Let's show them what we're made of. Welcome to the ultimate soccer chess match, the 8v7 full pitch tactical showdown. This isn't just a drill, it's a masterclass in cunning and strategy. First up, our striker number 9, the sly fox in the box. Think of him as your chess queen, ready to pounce. The plan. Lurk near the enemy lines, then bam. A killer pass slices through, and a teammate is there to hammer it home. Now, let's talk about our wings, number 7 and number 11. These aren't just players, they're your turbocharged sports cars. When they get the ball, it's not just a dribble, it's a high speed chase down those half spaces. Turn, burn, and leave defenders in the dust. But wait, there's more. Fullbacks number 2 and number 5, you're not just defenders your stealth bombers. Time those overlapping runs, sneak up the flanks, and deliver crosses that are like guided missiles to the goal. This drill isn't just about flexing those soccer muscles, it's about outsmarting, outplaying, and outscoring. It's chess, poker, and a gladiator fight rolled into one. So, lace up, get your game face on, and let's turn this pitch into a battleground of brains and brawn. Welcome to the big leagues, where tactics aren't just plans, they're weapons. We're setting up a full pitch 8v7 showdown, where your attacking prowess meets the stubborn resistance of a 1-4-4-2 defense. It's not just a game, it's a tactical masterclass. Imagine this, you've got the ball, and the pitch is your canvas. Your first masterpiece. Overloading the wing. It's not just passing, it's a coordinated dance, a barrage of players swarming the flame. You're not just moving the ball, you're orchestrating chaos, leaving the defense scrambling as you carve your path towards goal. But wait, there's more. Watch as your number 6 or number 8 sneaks into enemy lines with a deep run. It's not just a run, it's a stealth mission, sowing seeds of doubt and miscommunication among the defenders. One moment they're organized, the next, they're watching shadows, questioning their every move. Now, for the grand twist, Send in number 2 or number 5 as an inverted fullback. This isn't just a position change, it's a mind game. As your fullback morphs the field shape, 
watch the opposing markers descend into confusion. They're not just defending a play. They're solving a puzzle, one that keeps reshaping itself. This is where legends are born. Every move, every decision, is more than just tactics. It's a form of art. You're not just playing to score. You're playing to dominate, to outsmart, to outplay. In this chess game of giants, are you ready to be the king? Welcome to the masterclass of attacking in the final third, where we're transforming routine plays into goal-scoring masterpieces. First, let's dive into the diamond pattern. Picture number 6 as the anchor at the bottom, orchestrating the play. Number 10 and number 7, the wings of the diamond, are crucial for width and creativity, offering diagonal runs and unexpected passing angles. Number 9, at the top, is your ultimate target, the striker poised to turn these orchestrated moves into goals. This formation is all about fluidity and understanding spatial dynamics, creating a network of options that keeps defenders guessing and opens up the path to the goal. Next up, the white pattern. Here, number 8 sits at the bottom, a pivot point for initiating attacks. Number 10, in the middle, acts as the playmaker, the link between defense and offense. The top of the Y, number 11 and number 9, are your dynamic forwards, interchanging positions and using their agility to disrupt the defensive line. This setup is about exploiting gaps, using sharp, incisive passes to break lines, and creating overloads that leave defenders in disarray. Lastly, the square pattern. Envision number 6 and number 10 at the bottom corners, offering stability and control. They're the foundation, setting the tempo and switching the play. Number 7 and number 9 at the top work in tandem, constantly moving, dragging defenders out of position, and creating scoring opportunities. This formation is about maintaining possession, patient build-up play, and sudden bursts of attack, a blend of discipline and creativity. These tactics are more than just formations, they're blueprints for success. Each pattern offers a unique approach to breaking down defenses, demanding not just physical skill, but mental sharpness and team cohesion. It's about turning individual talent into collective brilliance. So, gear up for a session that's not just about scoring goals, but about crafting them with precision, intelligence, and teamwork. Let's turn this game into a showcase of tactical prowess and seamless coordination. Welcome to the art of soccer. Let's dive into the heart of soccer strategy, where every move is a play, and every play is a potential game changer. We're setting the stage for a 6v6 tactical showdown, where the art of attack meets the science of defense. This isn't just a match, it's a masterclass in soccer tactics, showcasing the finesse of the 1-2 combination, the cunning of the third man play, and the sheer power of a long shot. Get ready to explore these strategies that transform teams from mere players into maestros of the pitch. The 1-2 combination play is all about quick, intelligent exchanges near the opponent's defensive line. Picture it as a dance of passes, where one player taps the ball to a teammate positioned close to the line, then dots behind the defenders to receive the ball back. It's the classic wall pass or give and go, a fundamental yet effective maneuver. This tactic relies on speed, timing, and an almost telepathic understanding between players. It's about creating a momentary lapse in the defense to break through. The beauty of the 1-2 lies in its simplicity and effectiveness, making it a staple in breaking down well-organized defensive units. The third man play is a more complex variation, involving a trio of players in a fluid, coordinated movement. Here's how it unfolds. One player initiates by passing the ball near the opposing line. This player then quickly passes it to a second teammate. As the defense adjusts to these movements, the ball is swiftly played to a third player, who has found space amidst the shifting defense. This up-back-through combination is like a well-rehearsed play in a theater, every move is precise, every pass calculated. The third man play is about outsmarting the defense through layers of deception and movement. The long shot strategy shifts the focus from intricate playmaking to seizing opportunities for powerful strikes from distance. Players work to progress the ball near the defensive line of the opposing team, setting the stage for a long-range shot around the penalty box area. This tactic is not just about having players who can strike from distance, it's about recognizing the right moment to take the shot. It requires players to be constantly assessing the field, looking for openings or moments when the defense is imbalanced. A successful long shot is a blend of vision, technique, and audacity, often catching the goalkeeper off guard and electrifying the game. 
each of these tactics, the one-two combination, the third man play, and the long shot brings a unique dimension to the game. They require not just physical skill, but also a deep understanding of the game's nuances, making them essential tools in the arsenal of any team looking to dominate in the final third. Alright, soccer fanatics, buckle up! We're diving into some killer finishing drills that'll sharpen your skills and get those nets bulging. No more Sunday League stuff. We're talking big league plays. Let's roll! First up, lay off. Think of number 9 as your battlefield general, the pivot point of your attack. Midfield maestros number 7, number 10, and number 11. You're starting from your domains. Feel the rhythm, take a touch, and launch that ball to number 9. But wait, there's more. Keep moving, get that ball back from a slick one-touch layoff by number 9, and boom unleash hell on the goal. It's about being fluid, fast, and ferocious. Next, we've got the up back through. This one's a beauty. Picture this, number 7 dishes to number 9, who's your wall? A quick one-touch back to number 10, the brain's in the middle. Then, like a bowl, number 7 cuts through, slicing the defense. The ball meets them in full stride, and then it's lights out for the keeper. This drill is all about timing, precision, and that killer instinct. Rotate positions to keep it spicy. Finally, overlap one. This is where it gets conning. Number 7, you're the decoy. Pass to number 9 and make it look like you want it back. But here's the twist number 10, you're the shadow, the surprise. Make that sneaky overlap one, get the ball from number 9, and finish with flair. This drill is about deception, speed, and outsmarting the defense. Keep rotating to keep the enemy guessing. To sum it up, these drills aren't just about scoring goals. They're about building a mindset. A mindset of creativity, agility, and ruthless efficiency. Train hard, play harder, and remember every touch, every move, every shot is a step towards greatness. You're not just players. You're artists painting your masterpiece on the pitch. Now. Go make every goal a work of art. Alright, let's dive into the heart of the game with some drills that'll sharpen your skills and get that adrenaline pumping. Imagine you're on the field, the crowd's roar is in your ears, and it's time to show what you're made of. First up, we've got the 4v3 drill, right outside the penalty box. You're on the attacking team, and your mission is to slice through the defense like a hot knife through butter. You've got two center backs and a midfielder standing in your way, like gladiators in the arena. Your goal, outsmart them, outplay them, and get that ball to the back of the net. This isn't just about fancy footwork, it's about thinking two steps ahead, finding that killer pass, and making the shot count. It's high stakes, high pressure, and exactly what you live for. Next, we shift to the kickback drill. This one's all about cunning and precision. You're just outside the penalty box, facing a back line of four defenders who think they've got you boxed in. This is your playground, your objective. Work the ball, find that sliver of space inside the penalty area, and deliver a kit back pass into the zone right in front of the goal. It's about vision, timing, and that perfect delivery that leaves the keeper grasping at shadows. Nail it. Finally, we crank up the intensity with the box game. Picture this, four attackers versus two defenders and a goalie, all inside the penalty area. This is where legends are made. It's fast, furious, and all about quick, lethal combination play. Think one-touch football, think lightning fast decisions, and think clinical finishing. This is where you prove your mettle, where you show that under pressure, you're as cool as the other side of the pillow. It's about teamwork. It's about individual brilliance, and it's about hammering that ball into the net before the defenders know what hit them. These drills aren't just exercises. They're battle simulations. They're where you hone your skills, sharpen your instincts, and get that edge that separates the greats from the also ranks. So, lace up, get your head in the game, and let's show them what we're made of. This is where you build the skills to leave the crowd breathless and your opponents in the dust. Let's get to work. 